Yo, what's going on guys? It's Seabrev. Welcome to another MLB The Show 24 video. Today is going to be the first episode of our What Would Brev Do series for this year. What we do in this series is we play through a game start to finish, record the entire thing, and the goal is for me to talk through what I'm thinking in my head and hopefully be educational for y'all. You can kind of get an idea of what's going on in my head throughout the game, how I'm making adjustments as the game progresses, and how I handle general baseball managerial decisions and stuff like that. In this first episode, we are about to play our play-in game for World Series. We're at 889 rating and we are using a fun team I've been rocking with on the way up. This is a Nolan Arenado Cornerstone Captain team build. So what really makes this click is being able to put Crawford and Turner up the middle because it's hard to find slow middle infielders that are good. And then you do have to play at least one player in the outfield. So we've got Richie Sexton in left field. Obviously that can be super sketchy at times, but we have to play someone out there and the hitting boosts for this captain are really good. You can see 20 contact right, 15 power left, 15 clutch 10 fielding it makes guys like Mancini insane been loving this Trey Mancini card we also got Adam Dunn at first on the mound we're gonna be pitching with Zach Grinky, but we have Paul Skeens available probably if we want to and thankfully we got an early quit in the last game so our whole bullpen is available too these games in the 800s have been sweaty so I'm expecting a good one I hope you guys enjoy quick tip here which I share every year you can actually restrict your matchmaking in ranked by tapping left on the d-pad right now I'm searching for the strictest area of ranked because I'm only 11 points from World Series. I just want to play someone close to me so that I know for sure that I'm getting in if I win. You can't do this in BR or events, but it does work in ranked. So if you're finding yourself matching up with people way above your rating often, try to restrict your matchmaking a little bit. All right, took us a minute to find a game, but we are headed in. I'm pretty nervous, honestly. We're matched up against Banana Man, and I'm facing AJ Burnett Parallel 3. I'd be lying if I said this wasn't a good matchup. Uh, maybe this guy's insane with AJ Burnett, but uh, uh, I don't think he's very good on paper, so we'll see. Big Pirates guy, too, it looks like. Uh, one thing you'll notice if you're new to the channel is I take a lot of pitches. One of the things that makes me good at hitting is I pick up on tendencies, and I try to see the ball a lot, and try to pick up on opponent sequencing, what they're going to do and what counts. Uh, right there, he just throws two sinkers back to back, and the second one caught a little bit too much to the plate. We uh, we got lucky hitting it up the middle, and I'm going to check the game log too, and the game is on Legend. So this is my third Legend game. I lost one on the way up, and then also I disconnected while winning in the second one. So <laughs> hopefully we can adjust well to Legend uh, and get some, get some at-bats going. So Burnett's an interesting one. I haven't faced Burnett at all. Uh, he's exclusively sinker changeup for the most part. And that's a great change up there. We're going to roll into a double play. Um, that first pitch we saw that at bat, or the second one, was like right down the middle. That's a pitch you'll see me take a lot, especially early in the game. Didn't work out for us there. We roll into a double play, but uh, I'm definitely the type of player that needs to see pitches and be patient. And I often advise others to be a little bit more patient than you think you need to be. Uh, and usually that helps out with your hitting as we <laughs> make three consecutive outs. Not great. It's all right. This happens. The veterans of the channel know that we uh, we are almost exclusively losing in the early innings of every game we play. Because that's just how it works for me, I guess. All right, Zach Grinky, pretty standard pitch mix. Uh, I mentioned he was pretty vanilla in the Team Affinity rankings, and still kind of true. One of the nice parts about him, though, is his slider is really high velocity compared to his other pitches. So. It's actually a pretty good weapon against lefties. Um, and on Legends specifically, you'll find a lot of times uh, both me and my opponent throwing sliders low and away in the same handedness at bats. Uh, PCI shrinks a bit on low and away off speed sometimes, so you can kind of get some weak contact that way. Uh, but as far as pitching, usually we're just trying to keep our opponent off balance and pitch to contact. Um, you'll find often I'm not searching for strikeouts. If I think I can get somebody to chase in a two-strike situation, I'll definitely go for it. But if somebody wants to swing first pitch and ground out, I will take that all day. So often I'm pitching to contact. I find it's the best way to learn how to pitch, too, because when you end up playing against some of these goons that are at the top of the ratings, they just hit everything, and they barely ever strike out. So really the way... To get them out is pitches like that, keeping them off balance. We went slider low and away, and then sinker inside, which is pretty common. 
Um, but just a little rocking chair situation there. So quick first two outs for us. The first out we were pretty lucky on, to be honest. That ball was smoked. But that was a good sequence for us last at bat. Um, and that's the power of Grinky right there. That's one of his best pitches against lefties. The slider is thrown so hard that it's pretty hard to time up. Uh, and it also opens it up for you to be able to drop the change up in low and into lefties. Um, and it's really like one of my favorite pitches. We'll actually try that sequence right here. He might be on it because he has been on that last slider, but uh, he pulls it foul. So we pitch inside a lot to this guy. I'm always a bit scared to pitch outside to Corey Seager because he's he always just pulls the ball on early swings for bombs. We'll try to go sinker there. Good swing by him. That might have been a perfect, actually. And he sneaks it through. One of the things you'll notice this year, too, uh, hitting is insane this year, especially on in like high comp highly competitive games like the one we're in right now. Uh, probably going to be very high scoring. I've had multiple like <laughs> 15 plus run games from both opponents on the way up here, but we've gotten him to swing late twice on the sinker inside right on right. So we'll keep that in mind. That's something we'll have to focus on um, moving forward throughout the game. How often do I want to go back to that well and how hard is my opponent going to adjust as we continue to keep trying to do it? So we've seen basically nothing but sinkers from Burnett so far, except for the one changeup that we rolled over. Um, definitely need to protect the inside of the plate here with the sinker. And he goes curve away. So the pitch we're most concerned about is the sinker inside here. And I really don't want to swing if it's a ball. That was a really good pitch, but we swung over the top. But the nice part about Burnett, like I said, is basically just sinker changeup we have to worry about. And they move the same way, so... Hitting in the tunnels is should be pretty easy. <laughs> we chase like crazy there for no reason. It's fine. I literally have uh, I have like a game and a couple innings experience on Legend this year, and uh, have not faced AJ Burnett one time. So this is gonna take us a hot minute. I wish I didn't swing first pitch last at bat, um, and the shift is killing us there. So. We didn't take a lot of pitches that inning, mostly because we saw a lot of sinkers early in the count. We were trying to take advantage of that. Um, we smoked one with Brandon Crawford, but unfortunately right into the shift. And we go back to what's been our bread and butter so far, uh, which is the sinker inside to righties. This is a pitch that's pretty common. You'll see it in all levels of play. Uh, sinker is just really good, and it's hard to time that up and pull it. Uh, Usually, people are pretty quick to adjust at higher difficulties, but so far, this guy's been struggling a little bit. I wonder if it's his first Legend game, too. We're both a little uh, a little erratic with the swings so far. Tried to get him to the chase there, and he didn't do it. Normally, a good tunnel off of that would be the front door sinker, but I'm actually going to double up because I think he's going to anticipate that. And he takes another good pitch. Uh, now we'll try the front door. And hopefully he doesn't turn on it for a home run. He's late again. So he's really struggling with the velocity here from us. Uh, which again indicates that he may be on his first legend game also. We're going to try to drop the changeup in. And he crushes it. So the changeup maybe wasn't the pitch there. I'm not sure. Maybe we should have gone four seam in. Uh, he was pretty late on the, on the sinker up and in. Maybe we should have gone with Velo again. We're not going to go sinker inside this time because he might be looking for it. We'll just try to drop a slider away, catch an early strike. And we'll actually go change up down and in. See if he pulls this early. Over the top of it. Looked like good timing. So what's happening in these last two at-bats, I'm anticipating my opponent to make adjustments with their bat speed. I'm trying to get out in front of it. Uh, but he's ended up just having good timing on two change-ups. So we might just have to feature the velo more and just wait for him to adjust. Again, we could not throw a sinker first pitch there because he'd probably sit on it, but now we're going to try. Good take from him. Um, let's try to force him away. Bad pinpoint. 2-1 count. Again, a spot where if he was sitting on something, it'd probably be sinker, so we have to stay away, at least for now. Good read as he's way early, and now we're going to try to get him to chase a sinker below the zone and give us two outs. 
And unfortunately, he fouls it very late. Um, so we'll go back to our bread and butter here. Hopefully he doesn't turn on it. And he's late again. Mickey needs to make this play. Beautiful. So just trying to figure out where his where his swing timing's at, trying to keep him off balance, and again being conscious of the fact that the main thing he's struggled with so far has been velocity on the inside part of the strike zone. And trying to be careful enough where we're using it often, but we're not uh, throwing it in situations where it may be pretty obvious. You can see in that Austin Riley at bat, he whiffed pretty early with two on two sliders in exactly what we were predicting. Um, <laughs> like I said, normally pretty patient hitter, but, uh, this guy's pitching approach so far has literally just been hosing sinkers in the zone early in the count and often. So we're going to try to, uh, switch it up a bit here and try to be a bit more aggressive. Last time he was in a bit of a pickle with a runner on first, he did feature the change up more. So we'll see if he does that. And again, just a sinker down the middle. I don't understand. We want to make sure we're early if we swing at a sinker in, and we also want to make sure we aren't swinging at it if it's too far inside and giving up free outs. 3-1 here, not really a situation where I think he'd try to walk me, but you never know. Four-seamer there, good pitch. If he catches this, we can tag because he got a bad animation, so not the best at bad. He threw us a four-seamer right down the middle, and we missed it, but at least we get the tag up. And now with the infield back, we need to put the ball in play here, so we're going to be aggressive yet again. And Grandall up and in with the four seams, going to hit it in the gap. 21 speed. We're going to try to push it to two and hope that we're not out. And we're out. <laughs> he is so slow, man. <laughs> that definitely sucks, but there's no way we're ever not going for that. So whatever. We probably would have hit into a double play this at bat anyway. That's definitely tough. Good at bat, though. We just want to put the ball in play there. Even a ground out was an RBI for us. So, um, Mickey in the gap. This will be a double because he is literally 69 speed faster than Grandall. And now I'm expecting probably some form of change up low and away. That's how he got out of the jam early on. So I think we're going to sit on that, actually. We're going to switch our anchor to low and away. See what he goes here. We've got Adam Dunn on deck, so he for sure wants to pitch to us here. He does not want to walk us. Three straight sinkers. Okay. Well, now we got to go back to our normal approach. Five sinkers in a row, so I guess I have to sit on it. 3-2. Man, hitting against A.J. Burnett is so weird. <laughs> Throw a change up, man. <laughs> this is craziness. We might beat this out. I don't think we will, actually. Dang it, that was smoked. Good spot for that sinker. That was an at-bat with eight sinkers in a row thrown to us. And uh, we took a good swing on the last one. Unfortunately, did not sneak it through the infield. You can see we're working the slider low and away and sinker inside dynamic quite a bit. This is actually very common pitch sequencing, and I try to stay away from very common pitch sequencing, especially at the higher levels of play here. But again, so far no adjustments from our opponent at the dish, so we're going to try to keep it rolling. I want to see him turn on a sinker at least once before we start getting ahead of ourselves like we were good play by mickey i meant with a righty by the way that ball was smoked <laughs> the friendly after the line out i respect it all right let's see if we can score more than one run against aj burnett that'd be fun he's featuring a bit more four seams these last couple innings than he has been um you notice the shift on against dunn too so a sinker away is a pretty good pitch to take a rip at we're just late, but unfortunately, it goes foul, and he drops the changeup in on us. So that's a pitch we probably should swing at because he doesn't have anything that moves glove side except for curveball, which is pretty easy to read out of the hand. Uh, that's a tunnel I usually take because I'm used to sliders and cutters going in on the hands, but A.J. Burnett doesn't have those. So 
Mistake by me. We're down 0-2 here. And just, I guess, looking for sinker. We're going to just have to start looking for sinker basically every pitch. And if he buries one like that in an 0-2 count, it is what it is because we're up here trying to fight. Should be able to recognize the curveball out of the hand early enough where we can just adjust. And he's just relentless with these sinkers. I would like him to miss over the plate a little bit more. That would be nice. There we go. That's an out, though, I think. Yep. All good. He's got his outfield playing, like, more shallow than normal. I see I see a lot of people do this at Shieldwoods, actually. I don't know if it's auto-shifted that way or what, but the outfield being a bit shallow actually helped us on the Grand Doll hit and the Mickey Mantle hit, but uh, did not help us there. All right, that is <laughs> three perfects this game for outs. Definitely tough. I don't feel like we're hitting that bad, to be honest. Uh, a lot of sinkers and change-ups. I should not have thrown a sinker here, actually. I should maybe miss this on purpose. All right, we got it inside enough. He's still struggling to hit that. I thought for sure he'd be sitting on it first pitch there. That's why I was kind of scared that I threw it. Kind of just autopiloted. But we'll take it. We'll go back to the slider, see where his bat speed's at. A lot of pitching in this game is trying to figure out where your opponent's bat speed is at and trying to keep them off balance with that. Um, and also trying to stay out of patterns yourself. Typically, after we go slider down and away, we have gone sinker inside. So we try to mix it up there and actually doubled up the slider after, or we went change up after slider instead of that. And they got us an early swing rollover. Very nice. Pitcher's duel so far, which is kind of surprising. That ball is off the plate, but it's a good swing. Jordan destroys me. Um, and one of the mistakes I'm making this game actually is not featuring the slider enough to lefties. This is another spot where I absolutely cannot go sinker in. He might be sitting on it. He was all over that slider, but just underneath it, and we're going to get out of this very lucky fly out for us there. So that's something to take note of that time. He was not sitting sinker in in a big spot. Maybe he adjusted to our pattern there. Um, so next time maybe we'll just throw the velo. Shifts on. Again, looking sinker, looking change up. We've had good swings so far. If it's outside, would love to see it. Those pitches are definitely harder to hit with the shift on. And that's an adjustment right there. Remember earlier? I think this is caught, actually. Ooh, it's poorly played. Do I push three? We're going to push three. You should not do this with 37 speed, but we're in there. He played that super bad, so a lot going on. Remember earlier when we struck out look looking on the changeup low and in with a lefty up? We said that was a mistake. Burnett throws nothing glove side, and when the ball's coming into that tunnel, we have to just assume it's some sort of front door pitch so that was an adjustment from us there and we actually get a triple out of brandon crawford and this is another situation where we need to put the ball in play and he's just going to go to class a right away so infield still back so a ground out is a run for us here so we need to make sure if it's in the zone we're swinging and we're putting the ball in play somewhere no strikeouts that should be good enough just missed the slider right down the middle Definitely hit deep enough to get the run in, and we're up 2-1. to one. Really set up by that good adjustment in the Brandon Crawford at bat. Now we can focus on Class A. Class A is cutter, four-seam slider. All the pitches are really fast. Even the slider is pretty fast. It's low 90s. So, speeding your bat up, usually a good call. I'm just missing with my PCI here. A couple of very hittable pitches we just missed. But the timing's there. And one thing about Class A when you've got lefties up, definitely try to focus on the tunnel that the pitch is coming in at. Um, so I like to see pitches kind of come in over here. 
Um, so that way I know if it's a cutter, it's in the zone. If it starts over here, uh, more likely to be a ball like that pitch. So that looks like an insane take, but it's a lot of a lot of reps against cutters. And really, I'm just trying to see it out of the hand. Where does it look like it's coming for originally? And then based on that, do I think it's going to stay in the zone or move out of the zone? Just missed. Or with our PCI, that was... <laughs> <laughs> the worst PCI of all time. But we get a run. We hit a triple. What's hilarious is I've been hitting over 500 as a team this entire run to the World Series. But, uh, of course, when I hit the record button, we've got two runs through five innings. Sticking with our sequence there, and he finally turns on one. Should have a play at second. That's a single. Good adjustment by him. So now things are getting a little weird. That's a good adjustment swing by our opponent. We need to start thinking about getting the bullpen up. We need to start thinking about when do we start working, or, uh, sticking with what's been working, and when do we start adjusting off. I did mention earlier one of the mistakes I've been making this game is not throwing the slider enough to lefties, so we're going to try to do that this at bat. I'm going to dive for this. Didn't have to. Mickey's insane. It's a big line out for us there. And Dylan Cruz, do two ground outs so far. So I think he's probably wanting to turn on a sinker here. So we're actually going to give him the sinker, but below the zone, maybe he rolls it over. I missed my pinpoint and it ended up in the zone. <laughs> the idea was there. We're actually really lucky that wasn't a bomb because he was sitting on sinker. Uh, and now he should be anticipating slider away. So I think we're actually going to go four seam away. You can see he's late there, so he's looking for the slider. We're not going to give it to him. Going to try to do what we were trying to do last at bat. And he did swing, but he did not put it in play. Unfortunate. Now we can try to bury a slider. See if he chases. Good take from him. And I think the sinker inside is kind of off limits for us the rest of this at bat here. Uh, it's been our bread and butter the whole game. If our opponent is in tune with our sequencing he's got to be expecting it so we kind of just have to stay away from it this hole at bat maybe we can turn it uh, go right back to it next at bat or maybe we can just get a double play get out of here that is such a good swing I think that's gonna give our opponent the lead dang it man great at bats by him this inning we choked the lead just like that. Nothing to say. That was an amazing at bat. I really felt like I could not go sinker in. We're to mound visit for confidence here. This is just Corey Seager and then two righties. So we could pitch around Corey. We're not going to make a pitching change with the two righties on deck. Uh, but what we could do is try to throw more balls. I typically don't like walking people on purpose, but it's an option here. I think we're going to go with the front door sinker that worked earlier. Hopefully this catches the zone. And it does, and he's late. So that was exactly what happened last time we threw that pitch. Uh, but last time we threw that pitch, he fouled it out of play. So just keeping track of sequencing throughout the game. I think we're going to try sinker in here, just stealing out. If we can he fouls it off this is tough because it's really just a guessing game like is he gonna sit on sinker and turn on it or not he didn't those first two times I really need done to make this play nice all right so he's got the bullpen up we're down by one we've got the bullpen up and we've got to hit against Classe and hopefully I can kind of indicate what I mean by looking at the way these pitches are coming in and the initial tunnel that they're in with these cutter pitchers. That's the one pitch we're vulnerable to is the four-seamer that catches the zone. But like that, that started far enough to the left of the screen where I knew if it was a cutter, it was staying in the strike zone. Those are the pitches I try to hit. That was a very lucky good slider. I saw it as a cutter out of the hand. Another good pitch, and we're bailed. So a couple sliders there. Very, very lucky at bat from us. What we need to not do right now is be early on something with the righty at the plate. 
I wonder if he'll switch pitchers. I doubt that he will. Um, but we really need to kind of have a slow bat here. If the pitch is outside, we cannot be early. We cannot give him a free double play, essentially. So that swing right there is just fine. We saw it the whole way. We weren't early. That's what I want to see. Saw it the whole way, and we weren't early. Beautiful at bat from Trey Mancini. That's just knowing what we can't do, and that's going to tie the game up. 88 speed. Beautiful at bats from us. And now he's actually in the same exact situation we were in with Corey Seager. He could technically walk Adam Dunn here with first base open. Nobody out. And uh, he's going with Andres Munoz, too. I'm going to take a couple pitches because I have not seen Munoz yet. He is four-seam sinker slider, if I remember correctly. You can also hold R2 to see pitches. And those are his pitches, slider primary. Gassing up 101. Bit taken aback. He's going right after Adam Dunn with this situation here. Going to look to hit this pitch. That caught the zone. I was sitting sinker there. Dang it. Burnett threw a lot softer than 101, so this is a bit of an adjustment. That's a really good spot. And we're underneath the slider. Did that, did that leave, actually? Richie Sexton. <laughs> actually, that was a pretty good swing looking at where the PCI was at. We will take that. He doesn't think it was a good swing. Check the PCI in the video. And we're sitting sinker right after that. So that's a pretty common uh, sequence there. When somebody gives up home runoff off speed, they typically go to heat first pitch afterwards. So we were sitting sinker there. We got one right down the middle, but unfortunately we pulled it foul. Big go-ahead home run for us. Again, trying not to swing at sinkers in off the plate. And that's a pretty uncommon pitch, actually. Good pitch from him. People don't paint low and away like that very often. Kind of hard for me to swing at that with the slider in play. Back-to-back -back four seams, and Crawford's going to go the other way. Six to three. I wonder if he'll go slider now. First pitch, the opposite of what we just talked about. He did not. I actually think I'm going to sit slider this whole at bat. Seems like fun. Got one we liked and missed it. Now I can't sit on anything. Dot. Good pitches from him. We struck out looking twice. Or three times maybe even. But we uh, got some runs on the board. The big go-ahead home run by Richie. And first pitch single from him. So maybe throwing the slider loan away too often. Maybe also throwing the sinker inside too often. Haven't really shown a ton of variety in our pitching this game. We're going to try to do so now. Let's try backdoor slider. That caught a lot of the plate. This guy's lineup is set up really well in a way that uh, it's hard for me to want to take my pitcher out with the two righties on deck so I'm just pitching to Jordan uh, again this feels like a spot where I can't throw the sinker in so I'm going to start away I miss my spot horribly there and he was late so now I'm going to go to the sinker checking his bat speed he was late there Tatis has a cannon versus 27 speed. He should never score. Huge out. Number one there. Do I go sinker inside again? Is he looking slider? Is he looking sinker? I think he's going to be mad that he was late there, so he might try to turn on a sinker. Yep, he's early there. Hmm. I don't know about this one, but I'm doing it. He's late. I need Tatis to at least run this down. Oh, that is tough. Dang, that's a late swing. Perfect pitch. 89 off the bat, and it just kept carrying. Now we got to go to the lefty here. Jose Alvarado. Good rally from our opponent. Our alternative option there was also to walk Maurer and go to a righty out of the pin. But uh, not particularly interested in putting more people on base. 
And he's going to swing early and hit it up the middle for a tie game. Dang it, dude. We pitched really well this inning. Just did not get results. And all of a sudden, we're looking at a tie game. We got to make sure when we uh, go back to hit that we're not rattled because the sitting definitely took a turn. All right, we got ahead in the count with Alvarado. Going to try to get him to chase a sinker low and give us two outs. And he does, and he pokes it through. Man, this is a... Uh... <laughs> This inning has been really, really tough. I'm not going to lie. Really, really tough inning. But you can't tilt. It's a tie game. We're a ground ball at somebody away from getting out of this inning. Got to get it somehow. He's being aggressive enough where I wonder if I just throw the sinker low right now. He would still swing at it. Was a bit too low. All right, jammed him a bit. We're gonna run this one down. Big out there with Mike Trout. Now we get the left on left matchup with Seeger, and I think I'm just gonna pound sinkers in. Don't want to throw cutters away. Let him swing early. Let him bloop one or even hit one out. So we're just gonna go right after him, and he swings late side of good. And takes the lead 9-6. to six. Dang it, man. Just late. That caught way too much of the plate. I wanted that way more inside. And we give up, what is this, a 6 spot in the 6th? Dang it. Well, we're going to win this game by hitting. That's for sure. We need to get out number 3 here, though. This has been pretty, uh, pretty rough goings this inning. He's underneath that one. We're going to get out of it. And now the bat's got to get going. I'm actually going to check his bullpen and see who he's got warming up there. Just so I know what I'm working with. I definitely want to take some pitches here too. After an inning like that where we gave up the lead, gave up a ton of runs, I do not want to just come out and give away an out for free. Just swinging first pitch. So going to try to sit back a bit. Maybe he throws us balls. He hasn't done it a lot, though. Typical sequence would be good to go back with the heat inside here. He went with the heat right down the middle, and even though he didn't take a good swing, that's about as good of an 0-2 pitch as you can expect. And we hit it out, thankfully. But we had the timing set up there just by expecting the sinker in. So that worked in our favor. Haven't faced Dominic Leone much either. Going to take some pitches here again. Again, just because we went down, we gave up a bunch of runs. He had a huge inning. We're losing now after controlling the pace for much of the game. It doesn't mean we have to go up here in our half and start pressing. We'll stick to our approach. We'll try to figure out what he likes to throw. That's disgusting. <laughs> I bet he likes to throw that. Good sequence. Three for three, Mickey. We're going to need him to be four for four at least in this one. Cutter stays in the zone, and we're too early on it. Now we got to protect inside here. I do not want to get front door sinkered again, but the problem now is that Leon throws a cutter, so if he runs the cutter in, our, in on our hands or the slider like that, there's nothing we can really do. It's a perfect spot for that pitch. Still maybe looking for the sinker in at some point. There it is. I did not get enough of it. 91 off the bat to center field. We got one. But it is uh, not looking good. We're going to get another righty up. I think we'll just get our closer up, LeClerc. But we're going to stick with Class A here with the two righties on deck. Again, with nobody on base, might as well pitch to Jordan. He's early there. We make a huge dive. Can we get a pick? No, we can't. I messed up the throw. Oh! 
<laughs> just uh, these last two innings, anything that can go wrong has gone wrong. Good pitch from us. Got him swinging early. We make the manual dive to get to the ball, and then I mess the throw up. That's a hard throw to make, the manual dive into the th preloaded throw. How can I get a double play here? I just got to run this way off the plate, I guess. Got him swinging. I will take that all day. Big strikeout. Maybe he chases this slider. He did. Can we turn two? What an inning from Classe. That is massive to put up a zero there. Whew. This is a winnable game. Very, very winnable game. We got to start hitting now, though. Done 0 for 3. He spun that cutter over the plate a couple of times. Maybe I try to slow my bat down against Leon with the lefty up. Got to be careful of the front door sinker here. Oh, I'm all over it, and I'm too early. Okay, well, he never doubles up on that, so now I think we slow the bat down for the cutter. Slider, good pitch. I don't know what he throws here. All right. He's got to want us to chase, I think. That is a four seam right in the pocket. Adam Dunn to right field. One run game. And if he sticks with Leon here, we're sitting sinker in all day. This is Rysel, so we're still sitting sinker in all day. If I look like an idiot swinging at a slider here, I don't care. I'm turning on a sinker. Oh, pulled it foul. Based on that swing, because I was so early, usually it's good to go off speed right after. So we can predict that. And it's up the middle for Richie Sexton, who's having a great game. And all of a sudden, we were applying some pressure. We're going to continue sitting sinker in here. Just a little bit late. Oh, we were a little bit early. Wow. So he's hitting us with the sequencing we did with Grinky all game now. We're just sitting on sinker. Those sliders mean nothing to us. Did I get all of that? It's 83 off the bat, so probably not. The Shieldwood special. <laughs> I'm the away team. I didn't pick the stadium. 83 mile an hour go ahead home run. You know what, though? That was our approach. We knew what we were looking for. We sat on it the whole at bat. Fernando Tatis Jr. puts his back out in front. And again, got to be weary. Weary is the right word? Got to look out for the front door sinkers here. And he knows it. This is really good pitching by him. These last two times lefties have been up, actually. Uh, he knows I'm protecting the inside part of the plate, so he's getting me to chase a slider just off. We're still sitting sinker in round right here, just trying to take that pitch away from him. It's a pretty good cut. Oh, they didn't give me the check. Good pitch. I was a bit too aggressive there. If I'd have swung, I would have probably put it in play. Again, looking for sinkers in. I need to make the adjustment, though, of having a bit more patience and swinging at them when they catch more of the plate. That's fine. We don't want that. I think he's caught on to what we're sitting on here. Going to stick with it, though. It's a great pitch by him. Fighting it off. I don't know where my PCI was there, but I thought my timing was good. So we take the lead, but we fizzle out right after the Fernando Tatis Jr. home run. And based on how Classe pitched last inning, we're going to try to stick with him here. Never a great feeling to be only up by one as the away team at Shieldwoods, though. 
Try to go outside once. And he swung and hit it out dead center. Oh, man. <laughs> Dude, this is intense. Perfect swing by him. Good job. Still, st still going to stick with Class A, though, I think. At least for these two righties. Trying to get him to chase stuff away. He swung so early there and hit it out. Oh. We give the two runs right back. Probably should have mound visited here. Oh. That was a mistake. Too many mound visits, so we have to make a pitching change. Definitely a misplay by me there. So we're going to be at a disadvantage here in the Trout at bat. It's fine, though, with Seager on deck. He does have the option to pinch hit for Seager. Got him to chase there. That was way inside, and he's going to get a double out of it. We just cannot get the outs when we need them. Dang, that was a good pitch. Good swing with good timing, though, just early. Got that exactly off the plate like we wanted to. Good first pitch pop out here. We have the option to put the runner on again. J.D. Davis, but I'm not going to again. With how easy it is to hit home runs in this park. Uh, and the not very good likelihood that we get a double play ball with the pitcher we have up. Uh, we're just going to pitch to him. We do have an option here for a walk, though, with two down. Jose Abreu crushes lefties. So we're actually going to go check his lineup. See who he's got on the bench. There's probably an easy way to do, easier way to do this. If I walked Abreu, who would he pinch hit with is what I'm trying to figure out here. This is what I wanted to see. Jordan on deck. Maybe we just try to get him to chase something? He wanted it. No swing, though. I need one out to get out of this. We need to rob this to get out of this. Another early swing, and it's going to leave. We've just given up some massive innings this game. If I had thrown a sinker instead of a four seam there, I think he would have rolled it over. I bailed him out by throwing it straight. I was trying to miss his PCI, and I think I did to some extent, but... <sighs> okay. We need three in a rally. We're going to have to do it against Jose Leclerc on Legend. We're seeing right down the middle first pitch. We weren't ready. Leclerc is a lot of sinker changeup, and we do have the shift on, so it's hard to swing it inside pitches early in the count. And that's just great sequencing. I feel very deflated. This is a spot where I should probably pause the game, to be honest, and try to collect myself, but... Dang it, man. That's fair. Oh, that would have been huge. Good take. Can't get caught looking here for sure. We did not get caught looking. Mickey Mantle makes it a two-run game. So once again, we're in the slider sinker dilemma right on right here. He's been going slider a ton. Do I want to make the adjustment and try to hit the slider, or do I just want to wait for the sinker? He threw the slider right down the middle, so I'll take it. One run down. Adam Dunn at the dish. And I missed a sinker down the middle. Oh. I have to imagine he'll throw a lot of velo this at bat. And he did. Back-to-back -back sinkers. The reason I thought he was going to go velo is because we crushed two sliders. 
Tie game. Still not good enough because we're the away team at Shieldwoods. As we saw multiple innings this game. Does he go sinker in? Or does he stick to the slider? Is he going to hang another one for us? That'd be huge. That's a good one. I could think about going Joey Votto off the bench here too. But I won't. Three one here. He's gonna make a pitching change mid at bat, I think. It's a pretty good play. Chris Martin. Well, I've never hit this card well one time, so I'm definitely taking first pitch. Slider again. We poke it up the middle. Oh, and now he's got a silver in the game, so the PCIs are going to be a little bit bigger. We got a bit of a breather with that. But again, it's a double play situation, so we cannot swing early at a cutter away. That is the one thing we cannot give him. If it's outside, we're trying to sit back. That was a really good swing, and we just did not hit it far enough. Down to our last out here in the ninth, and if we don't score, it's going to look pretty bleak for us. Want to catch him on one of those front door sinkers again. A couple of hittable pitches that I did not hit. Cannot strike out looking. It's the main thing I'm worried about. Good take. We have the advantage here. Just foul. All right, three, two, two outs. Force play. Runner's going to be sent on a steal. And he ran the cutter in, and we took it. Whew. Justin Turner against Chris Martin. I have to imagine he's going to stay away from us this entire at bat. So I'm going to try to slow the bat down, actually, and go the other way. Good first pitch. I think I'm looking slider mostly. It's also a good pitch. Dang. There's the slider. Perfect location. We fight it off. Did that get through, Justin Turner? We're not going to score, though. We were hosed. So we're bailed out a little bit, but we still didn't score. And now it's our captain, Nolan Arenado. Bases loaded in the top of the ninth. I think we're still looking for stuff outside. Oh, we got it, and we were late. Oh, had to lay off of that. Dang. Well, we've got to go righty here now for sure. Oh, if we would have just hit a home run there, we'd be sitting pretty. But uh, now we got to put up a zero somehow. Somehow, some way, Jose Leclerc has got to get it done. He's late on the sinker again. It's so scary because I don't know when he's randomly going to decide to turn on it. And if he turns on it, it's going to be for the win. That's an easy play for Crawford and a big out number one. Got him to check. I'm going to go right back to that, actually. That looked like a swing that was looking slider. Was not enticing enough. Hmm. Ooh. He was on that a bit. But over the top. Two down. 
Joe Mauer, final boss here. Try to get that to catch the zone. That's up the middle. That's fine. Should be a righty up now, I think. Dylan Cruz, maybe. We're going to snap pick a slider here, because snap pick usually means sinker inside. Got him swinging early there. <sighs> We're going to go to it again. What an inning from LeClerc. We got out of it somehow. 13 to 13 going to extras. This is insane. I think I'd rather have Rysel over Edwin. But I need to worry about hitting first. Andrew Chafin. A lot of sinker slider from this guy. That one might leave first pitch sinker down the middle. You can see we're looking for those sinkers early and often, especially when they catch the plate like that. Big first swing of extras. I'm underneath the four seam. That's the exact pitch I threw to his Jose Abreu, I think, that ended up in a home run. We just missed with our PCI. And he is really uh, firing these sinkers in pretty careless, honestly. That's going to stay in play for an out. Gross. Two very bad at bats from us. We're going to keep Dunn in, even though he could pinch hit. He could just counter. That might get down. Terrible jump from the left fielder. We're going to stay at first, though. We're going to go to second. The shift kills him finally. We had a couple perfects be outs because of the shift earlier. That might be the break we needed. We got to sit sinker over the plate here. I'm just swinging at all of them. I need to put another one in the seats. That's down the line. Bailed again. Very lucky last two at-bats for an insurance run. I will take it, though. Of course. And again, we're just sitting sinker all day. We've got matchups for days here because he's sticking with Chafin. Going to Bautista finally. We're going to leave Tatis in because we do have the lead and he's great defensively. So this at bat itself might be chalked, but we got a three-run lead and a really good right fielder in. So no reason to do anything crazy. Sending the runner here again. 3-2 count, two outs. Good swing. We were all over that slider, so I got to imagine he's going to go fastball now. Good double up. Really good pitch sequence by him. All right, LeClerc. Is he going to be the man, the myth, the legend again? I wanted this to be a sinker, but I picked the wrong button, so we'll just bury it. It's fine. He's all over that. Good adjustment. Tying run at the plate now is a lefty. Corey Seager. I think we are going to make a pitching change, but we're going to go to a righty. We're going to go to Rysel. The reason for this is he can't beat us with Corey Seager, right? But he could beat us with the batters after that if we don't get any outs. So We're mostly playing for the outs after this, but we're going to get two outs right here. Absolutely gigantic double play. And because he just crushed the sinker inside, we're going to go slider first pitch here. He might anticipate this. He did. Arenado cannot get there. Very early swing gets by. I can't complain at all with the uh, 16th run I scored. 
This is Jose Abreu, which is almost certainly a platoon. I think it was TJ White he had on the bench. Is TJ White worth a pinch hit here is probably what he's asking himself. He's going with Willie Castro. So this is a good pinch hit from him. It basically forces me to keep Rysel in, which is like a neutral play for both of us, I think. And he's underneath it to dead center. We are going to get the 16-14 to 14 win on Legend and make World Series for the first time this year. That game was insane. We scored three in the eighth, three in the ninth, three in the tenth. Adam Dunn, two bombs. Rysel Iglesias with the save. We just outlasted him. We scored 16 runs on Legend, and our opponent scored 14. Amazing. Into World Series from 889 to 910. Adam Dunn's Parallel 3. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this was educational, informative, helpful in some way. If it wasn't, I hope you at least enjoyed the gameplay because that was a crazy game. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. We'll be rolling through these episodes all year, hopefully teaching you all how to play uh, MLB The Show in the way that I do and get better every single day. So appreciate the support. Thanks for watching. Take care. Till next time.